I am going to take you straight in the Jamaican culture and show you how we celebrate Easter at this time. So as Jamaican guys, as a part of our culture, we eat bun and cheese. That's just the tradition. And you, I promise you, you're not going to go into any Jamaican's home and not finding a piece of bun and some cheese. It's just not going to happen. That's our culture, guys. That's what we do specifically on Easter Day or during, you know, the spirit. So I'm going to show you how to make this traditional bun. And you're going to be so surprised to see what it's made of in terms of ingredients. Very interesting. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sonia. Thanks for coming. And those of you that already subscribed, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Keep coming back for more video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Share the video, like it, because you know that's how the channel is going to grow. Thanks a lot. Th thanks for your support. And let's go into this kitchen and make this bun. If you love the Jamaican culture, you're going to find it to be very interesting. Let's go. As you can see, I have the flour, dragon stout, and all those good stuff. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with my wet ingredients. So, I'll start off with, I have two dragon stout here. This is what it looks like. Guys, dragon stout. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open and I'm just going to pour in my big bowl over here. So that's pretty much my base. So one is in and now there's the other one. So we're just going to just pour in this big bowl. Also, over here I have four tablespoons of melted butter and I'm going to go ahead and just pour in my mixture and stir two cups of brown sugar Gonna just toss that in and mix it out. So I can hear the dragon stout just bubbling up, making that sound. That's from the, the stout. So what I'm doing now, I'm just pretty much mixing it out. I want the sugar to dissolve in the mixture. Now I'm going in with my molasses and I'm going to put two tablespoons of molasses. So I'm pretty much so I'm just pouring out my molasses. So this is one. It's kind of thick. So let me just use my spatula here to take it out there. So that's one, guys. And now we're gonna, we're just gonna eyeball the other one. One. So it's two tablespoons. One is in, and now I'm trying to put another. It's easier this way. So that's another one. So we're gonna just continue with the mixing. So I have two eggs here that I'm beating and I'm going to go ahead and add it to my mixture. So this is pretty good. So this goes in to your mixture. So we're going to continue with the stir.
and this is looking good so far next up half a cup of honey so I'm just gonna eyeball with my honey half a cup mix in Next up, my browning. This is the Grace brand. You can use any brand of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and put four tablespoons in my mixture. I'm going to go ahead and shake it a little. So four tablespoons, guys. So this is one, two, three, four so four tablespoons of brown set this over here and gonna mix this up so this is looking so nice with that nice deep brown color and that's what you are looking for so make sure that you mix this together real good and see how everything is all uniformed So that's that for now. So I'm going to put my wet ingredients aside and go ahead with my dry ingredients. Six cups of all-purpose flour and I'm going to go ahead and sieve it. So you just pretty much pour it in your sieve and just sieve it like this, just like this. Because, you know, we don't want any lumps or anything in it. So we're going to continue doing this until we all finish. So this is six cups of flour. And there you go, guys. All sieved. Now, next up is my baking powder. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of baking powder. Just like this. So this is my baking powder. So it's two tablespoons. One tablespoon of nutmeg. One tablespoon eyeballing cinnamon. And this is my mixed spice, guys. Jamaican chice mixed spice. So I'm going to go in with also a tablespoon mixed spice. One teaspoon of salt.
and you're gonna go ahead and mix it all up so we're gonna just mix it around so that we can distribute the season and you know get a good combination so you're just pretty much mixing it around you don't want your bun to taste of spice in one area and nothing in the other area so you need to mix it properly so guys this is looking good so far so so now I'm ready I'm back with my wet mixture and I'm gonna add some raisin to it so I have this small box of raisin um, I don't like too much raisin so just gonna add this small box to my mixture not too much if you like raisin then go ahead and put as much as you want in your bun as for me I don't like too much raisin And I'm going to just go ahead and stir it around. So now I'm ready to introduce my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients. In other words, I'm going to combine. So what you want to do is just add your ingredients gradually. So I'm going to just put a small amount there and use my spatula to stir it in, just like this. So as you can see guys, it's coming along. like I said you just want to add it little by little gradually we're gonna bake this at 350 in the oven As you can see it has that brown color that we're looking for with the dragon stout and the browning that that is what you know help to give it this nice dark brown color so you see guys look how nice this looking now
so guys i'm still mixing to get this together real good so let's mix turn it around and you can also do it like this so i switch over to my wooden spoon because my spatula was a little flimsy so this is my wooden spoon and as you can see it's coming along very well i'm gonna just give it a little taste mm -hmm. it tastes just like bun just like you would buy in the store same texture same everything and look at the consistency guys look at it see that so see how everything is all together so here we go so i also have some cherries here i bought it at shop right in the jar and this is what it looks like guys i'm gonna add this to my um to my bun later on so i have my butter here and just gonna put a little there and a little in the other one and so that i can grease up my my pan to prevent sticking so you could use your hands i don't have the brush I'm just pretty much using my fingers to just grease my um, my pan and you want to grease it real good guys so that your bun does not stick to the pan and I'm going to do the same thing for my small pan over here I have some more pans if I need it then I just do another pan I think this is going to be okay. So this is how you grease your pan, guys. Just like that. My oven, my oven is already heated. I have it at 350 degrees. So I'm using just a piece of paper towel to kind of spread out the butter in my pan. just like this just like this So I open my jar of cherries and I'm going to just use like, not all of it, some of it. I'm pretty much just removing from my jar. Just like this. I'm going to go ahead and also give it a little small rinse. So this is what the cherry look like, guys. So I kind of rinsed my cherries and now I'm going to just try to pick out the, as you can see, it's still on the stem. So I'm just picking out the stems out of the cherry. Just like this. So these I will lay on top of my bun after I put it in my baking sheet. So this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour my mixture into my baking pan. So here we go guys. 
in the baking pan we go. And you want to shake it to even it out. I think I need to put some more. Let's put a little more in this one. And that should be good. So let's just shake it up like this so we can get it all evened out. And let's just clean it up a little. Just like this. You can just use a piece of paper towel and just clean it up a little. So this is looking good so far guys look at this this is what the bun look like so far the mixture now i'm gonna use my paper towel to clean my countertop so that i can make room for my next pan they spill all over now let's put the rest in this small bowl. I'm gonna switch to my spatula. Spatula gonna do a better job. You see, the spatula is getting it all out of the the bowl. So this is it guys this is not a big one this is like the leftover we're just gonna shake it just like we did the first one and clean it up a little So I'm cutting my cherries in half just like this and I'm just sticking them wherever I want them to be. Just like that. So this is looking so pretty already guys. So pretty. Smelling good also. Look delicious. All I need now is to bake my bun and get my cheese ready see so you can you can you can place them where you want even if you want to put the the cherries whole it's all up to you guys what you want to do with your bun see how pretty this look i'm gonna put some over here on this one So guys take a look look how pretty this is so festive and now it's time to put them in the oven now oven is already heated it is at 350 and here we go into the oven So the bun is in the oven guys and we're gonna bake it for one hour or until done 
so i'll see you in an hour thanks for staying and remember don't forget to subscribe if you learned something today see you in an hour so an hour later guys i'm gonna check to see what is going on with the bun if it's ready so let's check wow look at that guys look at that bun i'm gonna check to see if it's done and how you do that is just get a knife or something and just stick it in the middle here somewhere oh no it's not done see not done we need to let it go some more if it's done there there would be nothing coming up so it need to go some more so let's give it like probably another 20 minutes In the meantime let's prepare our sauce to glaze the bun so over here I have my pot I'm gonna put one tablespoon of butter in my pot four tablespoons of honey which I'm gonna eyeball So that's one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna add like four tablespoons of water to my mixture. Just like this. And we're gonna allow that to boil. You know just to get it glazed up so the butter is melting and mingling with the rest of the ingredients like the honey and the water We are also going to serve our bun with some Jamaican cheese, which I have right over here. So let's pay attention to the pot. So let's just continue to stir. So as you can see, it's coming along really, really good. So this is how you go about here making your glaze all right guys so i'm gonna try, try put my flames to medium and allow it to you know do its thing until the bun is ready to come out the um, the oven so i see you in a few so guys, I'm going to go ahead and check on the bun to see if it's finished. And it should be finished. So let's take a second look at it. So here we are, guys. The bun is there. Looking all pretty. So let's check. So let's try this test again. We're going to put our knife down. You see, this time there's nothing on the knife. Let's try over here. There's nothing, so this bun is done. It is baked. Now we're going to take the other one out. So this is my small leftover one. 
It's right here. Let me set it right there on that counter. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my glaze on. Let's turn this around. And the other one is right there. So with my brush, I have a small brush it's right here. It's not a big one. And I'm just going to take my glaze. Remember, I was doing my glaze over here on the stove. It is ready to go on my bun. So this is what my glaze is looking like. See? So now, I'm just going to go over my bun with this glaze. Just like that. I think I need to get another brush. This one is getting a little raggedy. So what you want to do with guys, just take the your glaze and just put it all over your bun. And we're going to let it cool out. And then take it out and dig in. So you want to make sure you go all over your bun. Get this nice honey glaze mixture. Just like this. And I'm also going to go and put some on the small bun over here to get it all looking shiny and nice wow this is i think i did a great job be honest i did excellent Let's put some more and it's a big one. And there you have it guys, your Easter bun ready to serve. Looking so beautiful. Take a look. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And this is the big one over here. Look how nice this look. Look how nice that is looking. Need to put some more glaze over here. look at it guys so nice let's turn it around isn't that beautiful let's, let's turn look at that nice looking bun There you have it, guys. Gorgeous looking bun.
so as you can see guys this bun is ready to be taken out of this baking pan so this is what it looks like so far so see it's ready so i'm just gonna gently flip it out so you want to just circle around it making sure that you're not messing it up and now that we lift it now i'm gonna just gently take it out so look at that look at it guys wow just gonna set it over there see that see how nice that looking so let's just rest that pan over here and this is the other one i'm not gonna take this one out i'm just gonna set this one over here so now let's dig into this bun see look how beautiful this bun is let's just zoom in a minute look at it how nice see so let's just cut in it so here we go guys so my knife is very sharp and i'm just gonna cut a piece of my bone see look at that omg this is smile not dry i'm just gonna set this let's cut another piece